Five phases of leadership applied, okay? If you haven't heard them before, and this is gonna be the first time you hear it, it's completely original. You didn't hear it from anywhere else except for here. Five phases are as follows. Number one, allow yourself to be led. Crucial step. Number two, lead yourself. Number three, lead others, lead a team. Number four, lead women. And number five, lead kids. In that specific order, okay? It is not acceptable to try to put the order backwards. These are phases of leadership that you have to go through and you keep doing them for the rest of your life. But you need to start at number one, then number two, then number three, then number four, then number five, okay? And it's going to revolutionize your life. You're going to feel that it's absolutely awesome once you actually get to, you know, number two, three, and four, and five, <laughs> okay? Number one is not fun. And the reason why is because you're letting go of your ego. You're stripping yourself of the thing that's actually stopping you from progressing the most, which is that you're not teachable. You're not, you don't want to learn. And because you don't want to learn, you're, you're either not putting in the work because someone is telling you what to do and you don't want to listen to what they say, or even worse, you are putting in the work, but you're not willing to learn from other people that have gone before you. And so you're working on the wrong stuff. You're doing stuff that are unnecessary for you to do because you haven't figured it out because you never got the correct information and it's because you haven't allowed yourself to be led so let's apply the five phases of leadership in your daily life right now where are you at how's your current situation and let's explain it so number one allow yourself to be led what's the fastest way for you to allow yourself to be led well basically enter into slavery temporary slavery for a time <laughs> okay how does that look like this is where I explain the 30, uh, the 30, the 80 hour work week with the three jobs. Do you have to have three jobs? No, if you could get it all from one job, just keep one job. The whole point is 80 hours where someone is looking over your shoulder and saying, are you doing what you're supposed to do? Are you actually doing what I told you you should do? Are you blah, blah, blah. Okay, having a boss look over your shoulder, telling you when you're late, telling you when you're not doing the work that you're supposed to be doing, etc., etc., etc. Most guys have to go through this process. A lot of guys haven't yet understood what it means to allow themselves to be led, and they need to go through this process so that it's a temporary process and it doesn't have to last forever. If you refuse to go through this process, this is going to last forever. People are going to be tossing you to and fro and you're going to have to do what they tell you to do because you are powerless against the system. You're going to be in slavery forever if you don't allow yourself to go through slavery voluntarily for a period of time. Highly suggested, okay? The three jobs. A lot of guys don't want to do it. Do it, okay? It's going to change your life. As you do so, your income increases, which is fantastic, but you don't have any time right now, right? Okay, so this is, and we don't want to keep the three jobs for a long period of time. Now, obviously, if you already are doing the 80 hour work week in your business, you have a business, you're working it 80 hours a week, then there's no reason to backtrack and go back and get three jobs. That's not what I'm saying. That is for the vast majority of people. 95 to 99% of guys are in the circumstance where they need to do the 80 hour work week in jobs. But if you already have a business, that doesn't apply to you. If you are able to put in the 80 hours in that business, if you're not doing the 80 hours in the business, I highly recommend that you get jobs on the side to make up for it so that you are doing the 80 hour work week and it'll give you a cash cushion as well in addition to that. So, but if you are now doing three jobs and the 80 hour work week, what I suggest you do, you want to replace these jobs one at a time until they're gone with a side hustle that produces cash flow. So you figure out what your side hustle is going to be. Sometimes people come to me and ask, you know, what do you suggest that my side hustle to be? I help guys individually do that to figure out their purpose, their passion and the thing that they want to spend the maybe the next five years doing and building and learning seriously I got a tons of different ideas that you could learn from so but you start a side hustle the worst job gets replaced once you've replaced that income 
with the side hustle. Now you have more time to invest in the side hustle. The side hustle now pays more than the second job. You get rid of the second job, now you have more time and more money to invest in your side hustle again. Until you only have your first job, which is the least worst job, and then your business, and now you try to double, so you have a triple the amount of money every month coming in than the job that you've got, right? So one third should come from your full-time job. When you've got two thirds coming from the business, it's time to sack your boss forever. You never are going to return to having a job ever again because you literally managed to build the business from scratch on your own and build cash flow. You learn how to sell, you learn how to make a customer satisfied, you learn how to get clients to return to you, and you, you learn how to fix people's issues and to sell it, okay? I'm so proud of you, man. You now literally have crushed phase number two of leadership because you led yourself out of those three jobs. I'm so proud of you, man. Well done. Okay, phase number three arrives. What is that? That is simply now beginning to replace yourself in your business. If you, if you start doing that from the very beginning, I mean, that's even better. If you're able to actually hire people to actually do the jobs that are necessary for the system to work optimally without you being present, awesome, do that, okay? But it might take a little bit of time for you to develop those skills that it takes to lead a team. This is phase three. It's a whole other phase on its own because it's, it's harder than allowing yourself to be led. It's harder than leading yourself and this is basically leading people and people sometimes are quite complex and we've got to learn people skills and we got to learn empathy and we got to learn you know being there for them and training them etc 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 okay that's leading a team at some point you will have managed to replace yourself in such a way that you're making good money while at the same time having full and utter control over your time you should be making at least 10k a month at this point in US dollars and today's dollars in 2022 because we know inflation is going to keep making that number go higher but 10k a month at least maybe 20k would be better okay and you have at least 100k net worth maybe even 200k net worth okay because you want to get massive momentum before you move on to step number four or phase number four you did you did first three phases now you replace yourself Man, you feel pretty good about yourself at this point in time. It's time to attract the women. Now, on this channel, we we explain specifically that monogamy sucks, okay? It actually is not optimal for ambitious men like us. And not only that, sleeping around is absolutely worse. If you don't believe me, watch Casual Sex is Russian Roulette for Women. It's on my channel. Just search it up. <laughs> it's, I'm, my video is the one that comes to the top on that one. Casual Sex is Russian Roulette for Women. So if you don't want to do those two suboptimal situations, but you'd rather have the most optimal situation, which is three in love, which is a family where you're the man of high value, and you've got three women that are harmoniously sharing you under the same roof, if you want that system, it's now time. It's phase number four. You're now going to attract three women who love each other, who are going to choose each other, and who are going to be loving towards you and each other for the rest of their lives. Now you've committed for life. You're setting up your family system right now. Okay. You use everything that you've learned in the first three phases discipline, hard work, understanding people, empathy, blah, blah, blah. You now apply it to the women. You also learn how womanese works, okay? The female language that they use in terms of emotions and how they speak and how they think. We'll teach you all of that, okay, as part of Men of High Value. And as you move through the stage, it's going to take some time of voluntary celibacy while you're actually, you know, hanging out with these girls. And then once you commit for life with them, then that's when you can actually end the voluntary celibacy period of your life, which maybe was 12, 18, 24 months. Sometimes it might take three years or who knows. And if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. But now you've passed it. You've come on to phase number four. How long does it take before phase number five, which is to have your own kids with these women? Bro, you need to make sure that this is set up correctly from the get-go, but over 
a period of time, if you've been with them for a long period of time, the women know they love each other for, and they've done that for multiple months. They're excited to be a family. Now, maybe, is the right time to start a family properly in terms of actually adding kids to the mixture, which is a very risky thing to do. But, you know, as men of high value, we take educated risks. And when you know that this family is going to stick and you know, you know, it's you guys, then you start that process and it's the last and most important phase of your life because you're going to become a father. Can you believe that, bro? A father, okay? I'm the father of three. It's insane. I've got huge responsibility and, and I take it extremely seriously and I highly suggest that you do that as well. Follow these five phases of leadership and you're going to become masculine as hell, okay? Masculinity is all about leadership but you have to do them in order. And you start with number one, three jobs, do the 80-hour work week. I'm excited for you. Subscribe and like. See you guys in the next one.